Hey y'all, it's Anime Game, and today I'm going to be live reacting to Given Episode 4. And I'm going to start this live reaction in 3, 2, 1, go! Alright, let's see. Last episode was pretty great, and we made a lot of plot progression because... Sato finally... Because... Sato finally joined the band. So let's see what we're going to get in this one. I'm assuming this is probably going to slap him in the back of his head. Or I could be wrong. Or maybe not. I like it though, it shows you how focused he is now. Hmm. But I wanna know what's he doing though? Is he producing new songs or is he um practicing a already pre established and pre made song? That's what I'm wondering. Ah so many questions. Hopefully they're answered within the episode, which I'm assuming they will be. At least a good portion of them. Alright, let's see. Now... No, I swear... That guy... I don't know, is it just me, or does he really do does look like Yamo from Tokyo Ghoul? Especially when he was serving that coffee there? Shit. Gave me Tokyo Ghoul vibes. If YouTube wasn't so stingy when it came to copyright stuff... I would have probably like get a pic from my phone and show a picture of Yomo from Tokyo Ghoul, but YouTube's got given me copyright strikes in the past just for not some um, just for having a little bit of sound from an episode, not even footage, or for having even like a small amount of blurred footage. So I ain't gonna risk it in YouTube. Cause remember, a video of mine got struck once for just like few minutes and BAM. So yeah, it's too risky. Alright! We're here in the episode. Alright. You know, it's not bad actually, the background animation. At least some of the background characters are moving pretty decently and they're noticeably hand-drawn instead of CG, so... At least good efforts are being put into the animation quality. Huh. <laughs> it's actually quite nice, though, to get more details about Hinayama's sister. Oh! Oh my! <laughs> Ah, oh, Haruyuki. Let's hope he gets better luck with one in the future because going by his face, he probably doesn't have much luck. Hmm. Huh. All right. Hmm. It's nice, that means we're actually getting some character development for Inuyama then, if now he's going back to his former habits. But, in a positive way. Alright! And it's cool because it shows you how Sato is already affecting Inuyama in that symbol sequence at the start of the episode, too. It's starting to get his passion back. Oh, our boy! Hell yeah. 
So after to try singing. Oh. That's like the perfect alarm clock! He should consider recording his vo um, Sato's voice and just having it as his ringtone when he wants to wake up. And I just love how he touched his head as if his head was some kind of alarm clock switch and he just pressed the off button like that. <laughs> it's out of adorable. Oh, I guess that was always might have been right because I might actually like Uniyama. Oh my! Wait, what? Hmm. I actually didn't know about that. It's pretty cool. Huh. Oh, my. I actually never knew. I actually didn't know what those were, actually, because I'm not much of a music person, but that's cool. Good to know. Hmm. Oh! I mean, I guess it is understandable. Technology is pretty pricey. <laughs> it's gonna have to go through some hustle in those jobs. get into a fight with that creepy ass smile you know and one of those um battle animes hmm I wonder if he's curious to find out Oh. Oh. I thought it was a nice question about Kasai. <laughs> oh. Oh, the way he's light up, his eyes lit up is adorable. It's like a dog of just barely getting, um, it's like a hungry dog going for its doggy treat because it hasn't eaten in like eight hours. That's what his eyes look like. <laughs> Hella cute. Yes. Okay, so he was making music. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> It's impressive though, because if he sings and plays the guitar, that means he's gonna have a lot more responsibility than the other band members then. But I like it though. It should be some nice adversity for Sato and all that kind of jazz, especially if he starts music playing too. We could see some nice development for him. Some even more development. Oh, even Haruyuki looks pretty impressed. But alright! And I like the little detail where you don't see Kaji being surprised because he's already heard the voice of Sato in the previous episode. So that's pretty nice. It's making this sequence feel natural. And I like this little montage too. Even though we don't get to see much animation, we can see that they're bonding, that they're spending time at the, to each other, with each other, that a brotherhood's forming. And all that important kind of stuff. Some animes wouldn't even bother showing a montage of characters training when making music. But the best ones do show training sequences or montages. <laughs> hmm. 
<laughs> Wait, even Kaji? Was I mean, I guess it would be some reason he's impressed. He just doesn't show his expressions on his face. Hmm. Probably doesn't listen to any. Maybe he does. <laughs> oh, fuck. With that, we can probably summarize that he doesn't listen to music on his own time. Hmm. Kill Rock. Cutesy music. So does he listen to K-pop then? Hmm. Hey, that's actually not surprising when it comes to Kaji. Hmm. I just like that little flex. I'm a music major. <laughs> Okay, I'm blame him though, Kanji is a badass. Ah, actually does make sense. Wait, yeah, that's true. Why would someone be bleeding in a freaking band? But okay. Oh, there he is. Damn, that looks like some pretty nice beer. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe not. Hmm. Huh. Good. Let's just hope nothing severe drama wise happens to our group. I like these happy, campy moments, but then again, I wouldn't mind drama either. For me, it's a win-win no matter which route it goes. Because I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying this. Hmm. Hmm. Another good sequence showing you that he not only cares about... Oh, he uses his dog as a cover! Oh, <laughs> so adorable! <laughs> oh, fuck, so cute! Ah. Ah. No, but in a way, I also like this too. You get some Hunyang character development again, showing you not through words, but through thoughts and pictures and visuals that he's caring more about Sanzo, not just because of his musical ability, but because he's starting to care about him as a individual too. All in all, just good amounts of character development for Uniyama in subtle doses. That's what really makes this series good. Oh, so he's already there. <laughs> you know, I've had moments like that too, where you try to find someone in like a parking lot and in this same front, but the parking lot's fucking huge, so it's kind of hard to find them. I've had those moments too. It's relatable, actually. Oh. 
Yeah. But it happens though. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, is that Hachiko from, oh yeah, from the Hachiko movie. I love that movie. I watched both the original Japanese version and the American remake with Richard Jean, and they, both of those versions made me cry. Fuck, man, they, they were sad as hell, and I love them. I love the remake and Japanese version. Naturally, the Jap original Japanese version I loved more, but I love the remake too, especially with, um, Hachigo just waiting for his owner to come back even though, I mean, not master, I just say friend, even though his friend died. Fuck, that just got to me. And yeah, really, both of them made me tear up. Yeah. Fuck, life could be so tragic. Alright, I'm now focusing on the episode. I do love seeing the Hachiko statue in animes though. At least I'm assuming that's Hachiko. Y'all should watch Hachigo. It's amazing. Like, seriously. 10 out of 10 movie. Kind of is adorable too. I love the color blue. My favorite color. Hmm. Sounds pretty nice. Dana does have a riff effect to it, like a, sort of like a deep echo. It's pretty cool. That's like the first one though. Oh! 12,000 yen? Yo! It's at the face. <laughs> oh, poor boy. And I and I have that and I have that same face too. Like when I spend a lot of money on something I really want, but then I look at the price tag, I make that same dejected face. <laughs> so that's also hella relatable too. Love it. Yeah, like moments like that really make this anime feel relatable to an extent, even though I don't play music or I don't participate in a band. I like the detail of those wooden looking sticks, those drumsticks. They look really, really nice. Huh. And even the backpacks for the guitars are really beautiful looking too. I mean, it's it's only slightly more than half the price of a new one, so. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll, oh, I like that nice U.S. flag on the shirt. It looks pretty cool, too. With that face, I will. That beautiful, beautiful, cute face. <laughs> I 
I like it though. It shows you that when when Yama talks in an inclusive way, it makes Sato really, really happy. And it's, in a way, it's also kind of relatable because Sato, he's enjoying feeling included in something. And something that he can participate in and try is all. That's also what makes that beautiful where he was smiling. Really, really beautiful and endearing. Oh. It's just bros, yo! <laughs> They're becoming best buddies! It's a perfectly natural friendship! <laughs> Whoa. Wait. Rumors. No, they can't just do that to us once we get to the juicy drama. Oh. <laughs> but then we get to see Sato's dog, so that's just gonna calm me down. Oh, yes. You know what I also like about this ED? Like the way the tail is moving, too. Some animes wouldn't even be bothered to move the tails. And you can even see like the wrinkles in the dog, like his neck wrinkles, they move too as he's walking. That really is what makes this ED stand out a lot. And the butterfly too, it's got a bit of fluidity in it. The reflection looks hella nice too, I gotta say, in that puddle. And then those eyes. Who can say no to those eyes? Like, this dog would be the type that would... Literally, oh, and that, I didn't notice that detail before. It has fur at the bottom of its body, too. Yo, I like it. It's a pretty well layered ED. Oh. Oh, my, those ears, though. Those fucking ears. Yo, it just makes you want to touch those ears. Fuck, it makes you want to find a dog of, of a similar breed and just touch those ears. Just to, the, just, to, just to know what it feels like to touch this kind of dog. You know? And then those... T oh, man. And the way it falls... <sighs> Fuck. This is why it's the best CD of the season. <gasps> oh. Oh, my. I mean, I guess the PV is not giving us much. I mean, I guess we're probably getting... Although... I do love the potential sequence of Haruyuki being teased by Kaji. That does sound... That does look like it could be something that could be a fun prospect to witness. So, all in all, the preview seems pretty interesting and it's keeping its cards close to its chest for the most part. Now, as for how I felt specifically about this episode, I thought it was an honestly... I thought it was an 8 out of 10 episode. It was pretty darn good. It's not the strongest given episode by far, but it's still pretty darn good because it covers all its bases. You got Unayama character development because Unayama now cares a bit more about Sato's well-being as how he was considering that flashback where that boy was talking to Sato. And additionally, you get to see Unayama character development because now he has that passion for music that he used to have uh, when he was younger. But at least now it's a back. So all in all, those were great character moments. It's showing you how Sato is helping Unayama grow, but for the better. And he's maturing much more mentally. So I like that. And you even see Sato character development because even though this was a little subtle, even though it was subtle, it was so significant. Because the moment when Sato, when not Sato, the moment when Inuyama mentioned that Sato was part of the band when they were shopping, you could all see that Sato lit up. So that's also another glorious sequence because that shows you that Sato most likely feels that now he has a sense of belonging to a band. And that's why that sequence was really significant. And that's what I love about this episode. It mostly just focused on the characters. 
to a good extent. And then that sequence when Haruyuki is just looking at how um, Kaji is getting all the women and he's all just like fucking. He's all have like has a startled face, was just hilarious as hell too. So all in all, this episode had nothing but great character moments. And as for story progression, even, I think we made some decent story progression. At the very least, now you have a device, an amp for Sato's guitar, so there was some story progression. And additionally, we did find out that Kasai probably does like Uniyama. And on top of that, we're gonna get most in it, we're gonna most likely get into some drama with that chick, pretty much, she's gonna gossip some details about Sato. So all in all, some ni it's going through some nice story beats. And with the way it's going, my goodness, I think, I think this anime, we have a great anime, we're witnessing a great anime right now, at this very moment in time. If it keeps up this momentum, this will be for sure one of the top animes I've seen this year. And I've seen a lot of them. And the animation and art were pretty, even though it was the weakest from a visual standpoint, it still got the job done. A bit more stills than I would have liked, but I still liked the art quality.